walking in your perfect with pink mascara In a young couple, when you start to dance, that's what me love Next your dressing gown is about to fall down, down, down. Girl, let me thank you, let me thank you for all of you Girl, you know what you're doing to me Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Nigerian and African boxing and please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe button right now. Today is Tuesday, 6th of March. Let's say three days to go before the war between Anthony Joshua and Francis Ngannou. Nigeria against Cameroon. Well, Cameroon has always been a problem for Nigeria in sporting word sense, in sporting word. I remember when Cameroon knocked us out out of um, the AFCON. They also beat us in, I think, in the final or semi-final. Cameroon has always been a problem. But last time out against them, we definitely did beat them. It was 3-0, right? Or 3-1. Now, this is a fight between Nigeria and Cameroon. Don't get it twisted. I support both fighters. But in this fight right here, the reason why I'm going for Anthony Joshua is not because he has Nigerian heritage or anything like that. It is because Ngannou and his team have been making very... They've been overlooking Anthony Joshua in a, certain, in a way that I don't think they know what Joshua is all about. They see Joshua as food. Now, I watched the interview of, I think, uh, Ngano's uh, trainer. I don't know his name, but I think he has to do with Kuni or something like that. I don't know. But, yeah, his trainer um, did an interview with um, that guy that supports Newcastle. Uh, I think jo Jordy guy or something. Yeah. It was a very interesting interview. I understand the confidence. I understand they know Joshua very well. I understand Ngannou surprised us when he dropped Tyson Fury. But in this far right here, I saw Ngannou clip of him uh, during the workout yesterday. I was very... It was very interesting. Ngannou... In this clip, you can see Ngannou targeting the body of Joshua. Basically... Ngannou will be, will be trying to get Joshua on the inside, fighting on the inside, unleash his power punches to try to stop Anthony Joshua. But that's a big puller right there. You can see Ngannou's footwork is a little bit shaky. I know you cannot judge anything by this, but the way he throws punches, you can definitely see it coming from far away. Joshua has speed. Joshua might not have the best stamina in the world, not as Ngannou doesn't have that as well. Ngannou also gas out. Ngano punches harder than Joshua, no doubt. But Joshua is faster, quicker, reacts easily, and is a better uh, counter puncher. Facts. If this was MMA, Ngano would demolish Joshua. Facts. But it's boxing. And you really need to use your hands. No leg kicks or anything like that. Joshua. Would have to approach this fight with caution but also with aggression at the same time this is how it beats on Gano. i want to see drop beat on Gano. um because i feel like Gano is a very calm guy cool guy but he's talking a lot now i've never seen Gano talk so much pre-fight he usually doesn't talk a lot wait you he, he, he wants you to talk and then respond. In the first round, we'll know how this fight plays out. Joshua will probably have respect. We'll see how Ngano approaches fight. If Ngano approaches fight with ferocity, thinking, okay, I'm gonna go in there and break Joshua down or intimidate him, or it will only last for two rounds. Or Joshua will find a way to definitely break Ngano down. I don't know if Joshua knocked Ngano out though. Like 
But if Joshua targets the body of Ngano with Ngano um, footwork not being well coordinated, Joshua has a better foot than Ngano. He moves better. And I think Joshua also, also knows how to slip punch better than Ngano. Ngano really does slip punches like that. The guy has a a very uh, a strong chin. I wouldn't say an iron chin, but he has a, tr a strong chin. This guy took basically an elbow from Trasifuri and kept on working forward without even blinking. That shows the that shows the 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 like the strongness, the resilience of this guy. Yeah, I also want to say something though. The British media. I'm very much hoping that Ngano beats Joshua. Even the British boxing fans, a lot of them are just hoping that he beats Joshua because, like I say, Joshua might be British by nationality and also, of course, he's also Nigerian. He has a Nigerian passport, he's a dual nationality, you know. However, I just feel like the success of Anthony Joshua is not being, it's like it, it, it irritates the British media so much to see a guy from the trenches from nothing a humble guy just because he did something in the past as a youngster which youngsters do when they really have no choice and then they use it to basically like try to um yeah they use it to try to you know um make joshua feel bad about himself every joshua move is calculated simon jordan is one of those hitters of joshua saying oh no i'm gonna avoid this fight i'm not gonna do this these guys are hoping joshua loses john and nelson that i respect so much has been very critical car frosh the same thing saying oh yeah like changing his mind uh the other guy the jordy uh, jordy guy uh that guy is parking on gano i can understand that but you have to understand that joshua brings i think joshua will gain respect but the thing is that if joshua beats on gano and knocked him out they will say yeah you're, you had already seen this, this uh, the footage i'll tell you right now gano is not mike tyson he doesn't have that speed first fer ferocity to like to over part and joshua what is what he does have is a part of a, a one hell of a punch that can knock a bull out joshua also has that ngano has never faced someone as monstrous someone as powerful as at joshua you might say yes tip and all the right. listen no it's not the same ngano has never faced someone that punches very hard like joshua and with 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 a, with a with a with a lightning with a lightning has a sure has the speed. I think Joshua will approach this fight with caution, like I said, and go to the body. This will be an interesting fight when both fighters go when go on the inside, and then unleash on each other. Gano will take a lot of punches. One thing I will say is that Gano will start gassing out from round five. So Joshua should put a pressure on Nagano a little bit with caution. The ones on Gano tires out start unleashing that. In fact, Joshua can win this jab with a jab. Win this fight with a jab. The stiff jab with combinations and go in, go out, let Ngano come to you. Counter punch. Just don't play it don't play don't play don't play too safe because if you play too safe i'm gonna will think you're food and it will come all in maybe that might be a tactic joshua uses and say play safe and gonna comes in thinking yeah he's got joshua number and joshua unleashes on them well we'll see what happens guys what do you guys make of this fight and what what do you make of the the criticism on joshua by the british media um I can't wait for this fight. These will tell us a lot. Um, I can't wait, guys. I can't wait. Um, 
like the video guys subscribe and of course share, share it um uh, big ups to each and every one of you i see your comments as long as you guys are surprised i'm back yeah i'm back and i will definitely be active more active now um i have to definitely i have to because i miss you all and i miss reporting by box sometimes i'm at work it's just a little bit sad sometimes i'm like yeah, I'm, i see some news i want to report but i can't do it when i get home i'm tired as hell but i'm back i'm back guys god bless you all for always supporting the channel catch you on the next one just three days to go before these two monsters go to war was a prediction i think i would do a live uh prediction for this fight with our brothers and uh, we have to we have to we have to god bless guys cheers uh -huh.